Hey guys, welcome back. Today, well actually right now, I'm putting a crock pot meal. I'm putting a meal in the crock pot. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? You're so hi. Can you say hi? Hi. So this week, I actually planned all of our meals, as you can see. I'm usually really terrible at planning and it stresses me out every single day. I'm like, what the heck am I gonna make for dinner? I'll usually plan like a couple meals at a time. So I'll get like just enough for two meals at the store. But every time I do plan a whole week worth of meals, I'm always like, wow, this is so nice. Why do I do this all the time? So I'm gonna try to do it every week now just because it's so much easier. We end up saving more money when we end up planning our whole week. And it's just a lot easier knowing exactly what I'm gonna cook. So last week we celebrated Esme's fourth birthday. I cannot believe she is four. It's insane. She's officially not a toddler anymore, I think. Is it two to three years old you're a toddler? I don't know. Anyways, it just feels like she's just a little girl now. It's just so weird that I am not in that stage of motherhood anymore where I'm taking care of a baby and taking care of a toddler. It's really strange. And next year she's gonna go to kindergarten and I'm not gonna have any kids at home. What? I just feel like I'm way too young <laughs> for this. Ah! I just want to keep you home as long as possible. I want to stay with you forever. So last week we went to the zoo to celebrate Esme's fourth birthday because she wanted to go to the zoo. So we went to the Hoggle Zoo in Salt Lake City. What was your favorite animal that you saw? Glassy. What was that thing you wanted to see? Uh, a red something? A red panda. You wanted to see a red panda? Did we end up seeing it? I don't remember. I'm going to put it... We did. I think it was hiding. I don't remember if we actually got to see it or not, but but I'm gonna... <laughs> I filmed a little bit at the zoo, uh, and then when we got home, so I'm gonna put in a couple of clips right here. Esme, how old are you today? <laughs> how old is that? This many. How, how many is that? Can you tell me the number? Four. Yeah. yeah. Esme, where are we going? Um, to the zoo. The zoo? What are we gonna see? <laughs> a tiger and a little red panda named Louie. Louie? Louie. No, I don't. Yeah, it's a driver's seat. Get up. I don't, I don't know how to drive. <laughs> well, that's part of being poor. Get a driver's seat. What? Why do I have to do this? Hug yourself off and start the car. Start the car. We're leaving. I can't touch that. Can't even reach it. <laughs> can't even reach it. Are you excited, Esme? Yeah. Oh. Four hundred and ninety-six pounds. <laughs> as much as one week's food for two rhinos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, guys. You as much as a rhino's
could, but that would also scare him a lot. Because animals are scared of things. Good job. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun. I ended up forgetting our masks though. I had a mask in my purse, but I had to pay $50 at the gift shop to get four masks. <laughs> so I was like, I am never forgetting masks again. So I recently just got a package with pumpkin and spice skincare and I <laughs> as me. <laughs> I just noticed you were making really weird faces, yeah. funny faces. Were you doing that the whole time? I guess I'll have to go back and see. Anyways, I tried out their skincare this morning and I was very pleased. So I will put in some clips right here of me trying out the skincare. Good morning, guys. I was gifted the pumpkin and spice ultimate day bundle. So I'm really excited to try this out, especially with the whole fall. Season, I just love everything pumpkin. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, I have been breaking out on my chin and I don't know why, it's super weird. So I'm just excited to try out some new skincare. So in this little baggie, ooh. So I got the pumpkin and spice, pumpkin spice face mask. So I think I'm gonna do this today. Also the pumpkin and spice jelly cleanser. And then we got the Pumpkin Spice Day Moisturizer. And then Pumpkin Spice Facial Scrub Exfoliator. And then they also sent, oh, they sent me a little face towel and then a brush to, I'm assuming to apply the face mask. Ooh. Oh my goodness. It does smell like pumpkin. That smells really good. And it's very like, creamy. I only have my Smashbox palette, so I'm just going to use the mirror on here. I haven't done a face mask in such a long time. So this is supposed to draw out impurities, cleanse your pores, brighten your skin, and leave your face feeling silky smooth. So I need to leave this on, I think for 10 to 15 minutes. So I guess I'll use this time to talk with you guys for a little bit. I know I haven't been vlogging very much. I did have some issues with my camera and that's part of the reason why it's taken me so long to get a video up for you guys. All is well now, obviously. So the kids started school mid-August. We're in Utah and we are able to send them to school. They just have to wear a face mask all day. So I thought that was gonna be interesting, but it seems like they're doing a great job. Um, all the kids at the school are doing well with keeping their masks on and yeah, everything's going well with that. What else? So I didn't really say anything about this on social media or anything, but me and Drew did test positive for COVID this past summer. And the reason why I didn't say anything is just because people can be really nasty and I just did not want to deal with that. We were being very careful. We were wearing masks when we went out. I don't know how we caught it, but we did and we all got sick. The kids did only get sick for like two days and then they were fine, they were back to normal. It did last a lot longer with Drew and I. It felt like the flu for us, but it was very drawn out. And we, we didn't need to go to the hospital or anything. We just were able to take care of ourselves at home. It wasn't too crazy or anything. We did lose our sense of taste and smell though, which was kind of like you know one of those weird symptoms. So that was very strange, not being able to taste 
or smell anything. I'm trying to remember how long that was. I think that was, it went on for two weeks. But yeah, we um, we ended up recovering and got our taste and smell back, which is great. That was really miserable, not being able to taste anything. It's like, you just don't want to eat. Like, what's the point of you eating if you can't taste anything? So that was very interesting. I'm never gonna take my sense of smell and taste for granted again. But anyways, yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know and I don't know, maybe I could have shared with you guys. At the moment, it was overwhelming to think about sharing it with everybody and having to deal with any kind of nastiness. I was just like, nope. My focus was just on our family, getting us healthy again. Oh, my face is getting really stiff now. So there's that. We are, we're all doing great now. We obviously quarantined the entire time that we were sick and also the period that you need to quarantine after, you know, your last symptom too. We made sure we, we stayed inside long than we had to just to make sure that we weren't spreading it or anything it was very nice some of um, Drew's co-workers they came and they dropped off some groceries for us on our front step so that was very nice and we were able to wait out grocery shopping until we were completely better and not contagious anymore but I'm very thankful that it was just a pretty mild case for us I know that a lot of people have ended up in the hospital and a lot of times people who have COVID have very drawn out symptoms like for months. So I'm thankful that is not our case and we're able to, you know, go about our daily lives again. I think I need to take this off now. It looks pretty dry. So I'm going to go to the bathroom. All right, guys. So I just washed the face mask off. My face feels so nice and clean. I also do have the exfoliator and the cleanser. So that is what the exfoliator looks like. And this is made with organic pumpkin seed oil and natural spices. Ooh, this smells so good. I really love these products too because they are plant-based and they don't do any animal testing. They're vegan. All right, I'm gonna go wash this off now. I just washed off the exfoliator. So with the mask, it says to only do this like two times a week, but you could use this exfoliator day and night. You could also use this pumpkin cleanser daily as well. So I'm not gonna put this on right now because I already put both the mask and the exfoliator on already. But I'll show you guys the consistency. So it's just like a jelly cleanser. All right, so next pumpkin spice day moisturizer. And this also has pumpkin seed oil in it and natural spices. Oh, this smells so good. This literally smells like a pumpkin pie, like with nutmeg and everything. But this moisturizer is gonna be so nice. I've been actually wanting to get a new moisturizer because it is starting to get cold in Utah and when it gets cold, it gets so dry. My skin just feels so clean and smooth and soft. I love it. If you guys are wanting to get into the fall spirit, definitely try this bundle out. I will put a link in my description box so you guys can shop it. Okay, so I didn't realize but I need, for this recipe, I need to slice an onion very finely and I need to saute it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And then I just throw some chicken and some canned tomatoes, I think, in the crock pot. So, <laughs> are you ready? Yeah.
Okay guys, so I just got my box of fall decor out. Esme and I are gonna start decorating. It's Halloween! Yeah! Are you so excited? Yeah! Skeleton too! Yeah, there's a couple of things in here I've already gotten from Target this year, and then some stuff I got last year as well. And you guys might have already seen the haul that I put up of some fall stuff I got from Target and, and I went to Michael's and, and I got a lot of cute stuff. So I already decorated the front porch. Here, should we go show everybody the front porch? Yeah. This is our front porch. I'm not gonna go any higher than this because we do have our address number on there. And then I recently got these because we didn't have any um, furniture on our front porch. Fix this. Um, so I actually did a Instagram post for BCP products. So I got these um, gifted to me. And they're like the wicker material or I don't know, but they do match my furniture that I have in the back porch. Um, yeah, so so far I have these mums and some stuff that I got um, last year. But I actually just got this welcome sign from what, honey? I know we have to water them. I'm so bad at keeping them alive. <laughs> I know we will water them. And then I got this welcome sign from Hobby Lobby. That that was really cute. But I think we will be adding some more pumpkins and mums. All right, should we go inside and decorate? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start decorating. What should we start with? Should this. We... Yeah? How about we start with the TV stand? Yeah. Okay, so if you guys follow me on Instagram and you watched my haul, you might have already seen that I got this cute garland from Michaels, yes. And it was 50% off is one that they were having there. 50% off on all fall decor. And then we got some festive orange lights. We'll figure out what we should do with those. But yeah, um, I thought this was really adorable. So yeah, we'll just decorate under here right now. Should we do this one? Yeah. Turn this on. Could you hand me the orange pumpkin over there? Yeah. Yeah, so cute. Put it right here. Go. Great. Pumpkin right here. And let's do these ones. Here. You like that? Yeah. On a coffee table. Let's do it. Little puppies. Little I think maybe we'll take this candle and we'll put it over here. And then maybe this one. I think we could probably fit a couple in there. Should we put these in here? Yeah. Are those baskets right there? You can just put the remotes in there, honey. Should we put this one right here? Does yeah. that look good? Yeah, yeah. Cutie. Yeah. Okay, so we have these bats, like the sticky bats that you can put on the wall. And I really want to do the bats like on the mirror yeah, um, yeah. and on the wall yeah, yeah. this year. I saw that somewhere on Pinterest. I thought that was super cute. So I also yeah, want to do yeah like uh, spider webs up here. I don't have any spider webs yet, so I think I'm gonna go to Target and get some and then do spider the bats web. and the spider webs. <laughs> Turn the pumpkin on. There you go. I'm gonna put it right there. Nice. Take a picture, take a picture. What are we gonna do first? We are gonna go to Target. Is that 
the first one and how we are going to do. Yeah. We'll go to Target and pick up some spider webs. And then we'll pick up Ella and Emmett from school. Okay. If you guys have been following me since last year, when it was the kids' first year of school here, I mentioned how we picked a charter school that we really liked, but it was like a 20, 25 minute drive. So the kids are still going to that school this year. We really love it. But it is very nice this year that Emmett is not in kindergarten anymore, which means he's not going half days anymore. So I only have to drop off the kids in the morning and then um, at three o'clock when they both need to be picked up. So one last trip it's been really nice i'm able to do a lot more during the day i have earrings dad you like those earrings yeah yeah because i like that they are shiny you like that they're shiny yeah yeah like gold like gold do you want to like get your money. ears <laughs> and like money yeah <laughs> do you want to get your ears pierced someday yeah yeah do you want to do it right now when you're four or do you want to wait until you're older? Six. Six years old? Yeah. That's a good age. Can you see your cute outfit? Yeah. Let me see your socks. Oh, they're little fox socks. Let's go now. Don't forget your mask. <laughs> Get on your mask. It smells like honey. Does it? Okay, you can't smell this one because it's dirty. That's okay. I can still smell it. What does it smell what like? This one? Mmm, smells good. I really want to eat this. <laughs> one is red, one is yellow. Pretty. There's a spooky section. Oh. <laughs> I don't. Oh. That's that creepy. <laughs> Skeletons, Mom. Skeletons. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is cute. <laughs> <laughs> Here's spider webs. This is Mom. Meow This is cute. You want to color some masks? You and Emma and Ella can do that. Yeah. I want this toy forever. <laughs> that was a nice day to go to dog. Yeah. So why did you not have our spider webs? I did get the spider webs. Where? I'll show you. I got these. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you think? Do you think they're gonna work good for the mirror? Yeah. Yeah. And then I got. <laughs> Me and Esme a Lunchable. I haven't had these in such a long time, but I saw them like, ooh, I want one. So, you can have one. we're having this as a quick snack before we go pick up Ella and Emmett. Here you go, honey. Spider Webby. Spider Mommy, it's so huge. It is. I'm trying to figure out how we're going to put it up there. Uh, I honestly don't know how to style this. Maybe it'll look better once I get the bats on the wall. You know how werewolves have two different colored eyes? Yeah, I didn't know that. Should we put the strings on? Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Sorry. I must have not knotted it enough. Here, I'll make it bigger. Cool. Should we put the strings on it? Yeah. Looks good. Where yeah, it should work. Okay. <laughs> nice, bud. Can I go <laughs> Which one are you going to do next? This one. Skeleton? That's why I tripped on your foot. Good. Good? Good. Good.
These are your masks. This wow, masks. you guys did a good mine. job. <laughs> you guys did a great job coloring them. All right guys, so <laughs> I've been working on it for a while now and this is what I got so far. It just, it doesn't look right to me still. I, I don't really know <laughs> like what kind of design or pattern I'm going for, but it just, it doesn't look right yet. So I'm gonna fiddle with it some more. I'll probably end up taking a picture on my Instagram if you guys wanna see how I move it around. Anyways, it's almost supper time. The kids are jumping on the trampoline right now. So I think I'm gonna end my vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know it was kind of all over the place, but I'll try to get another vlog up soon. And if you guys have any other video ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.